My name is Peyton Holst, and I have the volume of Antananarivo, Madagascar. Madagascar lies in the Indian Ocean off the southeast coast of Africa. It is the world's fourth largest island. The country's low-lying coastal areas soon give way to its central plateau. This once densely wooded interior has now largely been cut down. Madagascar is home to numerous animals and plants. In fact, 5% of all the world's known animal and plant species are found here. Madagascar's climate is dominated by southeast trade winds, and there are two main seasons, a hot rainy season and a dry cool season. The east coast has a sub-equatorial climate and has the heaviest rainfall. The central highlands are dominated by high altitudes, but they still receive some rainfall. The west is the driest of all the region, regions and is semi-desert. Like I said before, Madagascar is home to numerous types of plants and animals. There are so many lemurs in Madagascar that some people forget about the other animals. The fossa is one of these other animals. In fact, it is a keystone species as it helps maintain the populations of many organisms in the biome. There are also non-native species, like Nile crocodiles. And there are also indicator species, like the Milne Edward Safaka, which is, at high, which is at a high risk of local extinction. A few of the animals that call Madagascar home are the ring-tailed lemur, the AA, the fossa, the blue koya, the spear-nosed snake, and the narrow-striped mongoose. Out of all the plants that are found in Madagascar, 12,000 to be exact, the baobab tree might be the most famous. But there are also the periwinkle plant, the vanilla plant, the catrafe, the traveler's tree, and clove trees found in Madagascar. The two previous slides were pictures of a ring-tailed lemur and the baobab tree, two of the most famous animals and plants in Madagascar. Here is a picture of an AA, and here is a picture of a blue, blue koya, the fossa, a keystone species in Madagascar, and the periwinkle plant. Madagascar has different weather patterns depending on where you go. The east coast has a lot more rain than the west coast does, and the central highlands are somewhere in between. And Tananarivo actually receives 1.4 meters of rainfall annually, and the average temperature is around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Animals and plants have access to plenty of water due to rainfall in small ponds and streams, but only 41% of the human population has access to clean drinking water. The terrain also differs depending on where you go. The east is made up of coastal plains, the center is made up of highlands, and the west to southwest is semi-desert. There haven't been too many changes that have occurred in Madagascar, but there has been one major change. There has been a lot of deforestation taking place, which means people are cutting down trees and that takes a big toll on the biome. It lowers the populations of certain organisms, which then affect the populations of other organisms, and the cycle goes on for a very long time. Also, with the trees being gone, there is less oxygen in the air and more carbon dioxide, which causes the climate to increase and that can also cause a lot of damage in the biome. If this change continues, it can cause permanent damage to the biome of Madagascar. I know I wouldn't want to see the baobab trees gone or the elegant lemurs no longer swinging around. If you don't help fix this and stop deforestation, the once diverse and most interesting biome of all will be gone for good.